Hello everyone, welcome to Registech. Myself Karthik Punnuswami. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this video. video. In this video, we are going to see what are the implemented classes of the interfaces which are like enumeration, iterator, list iterator. In our previous videos, we have watched about what is enumeration, what is iterator, what is list iterator and also we know that these are all interfaces and we are going to use these interfaces to iterate the elements inside the presence inside the collection framework. But are we really going to create an object of this particular interface? No. In Java, we cannot create an object for interface, right? Then what actually it actually happens? So what is the object which we are creating? What type of implemented class it actually contains? That is what we are going to see in this video. So without any further delay, let's get started. Here I have written a simple Java program, basically public class, cursor implemented classes demo. So here I have written a simple uh, method, which is a public static void main method. So inside this one, I want to uh, demonstrate how the implemented classes of this enumeration iterator and list iterator works. So what I did is, first I written a program to demonstrate the vector. So what I did is like vector v is equal to new vector of. So here I am actually creating a new vector class object. And then on this vector, we have, I'm going to call the elements method, right? So in the vector class, there is an elements method and that element is actually nothing but enumeration object. So here, if I want to get the implemented class, what I can do is that actual interface dot get class, right? So which is going to give me the implemented class and dot get name is going to give me the implemented class name. So this is what I'm going to do it. But before I want to do it, I want to execute this program to show you guys how we actually return the value. Yeah, if you guys see here, it is saying vector dollar one, right? So what does it mean? So I am going to call vector dot elements, right? So elements is a method inside a vector class. So I just opened this vector class in Java documentation. We have a elements method. So if you guys see here, this is the anonymous inner class because it is doesn't have any class name, but actually returns the object of enumeration e, and that is the reason we are able to see here we are getting the enumeration object e since it is anonymous class inner class we are saying like dollar so which is like inner class since it is anonymous so we are saying we are getting it as one right so when i say e dot get class dot get name it is returning java util vector dollar one because i am getting this enumeration object from the vector class v that is why it is vector and then dollar one dollar is nothing but inner class and one is nothing but anonymous inner class so that is what it means and similarly, I want to show you guys how it actually works for iterator. So to demonstrate iterator, I have written like another set of code of program. Basically, uh, array list al is equal to new array list of. So I'm I'm taken here array list. So al dot iterator. So here, if you guys see here, there is iterator method right in the array list. So if I open the array list documentation, basically we have array list iterator. So which there is a uh, inner class. Um, basically, it says like private class itr implements iterator. So there is a class called itr inside the array list, which is an inner class um, which has the name itr. And that is why you guys see here for the next statement, I am saying array list dollar itr. So dollar is something but represents the inner class, and this is the inner class name. So itr is nothing but this one, the line number 846 inside array list dot class file. So if you guys see here, this is what actually returns the iterator interface object. So if you guys see here, it actually returns the object i um, iterator. So that is why we are getting it as iterator object here. And when I say i dot get class dot get name, I am going to get the class name which is implemented class name of iterator interface, which is nothing but array list. Because here I have used array list al dot iterator. So that is why I am getting array list dollar itr. Itr is nothing but the inner class name, right? And similarly, I want to print it for uh, list iterator. As we know that list iterator is a special iterator which is mainly to use it for list implementations so i am used link list il is equal to new link list of so here l dot list iterator in the link list class if you open the link list dot class in the java documentation there is an inner class called private class list itr implements list iterator so this list itr right so this list iterator is nothing but whatever i am seeing here right so if you guys see here um yeah la dot get class dot get name so i'm trying to get the class name of the particular list iterator which is nothing but coming from list link list class and dollar is nothing but uh inner class the name is the name of the inner class is list itr so this is how actually we are actually getting uh the object of these interfaces 
we are not actually creating an object for the interface in java we cannot create an object for the interface but we are actually getting the object for the implemented classes and we are storing it in the implemented um, the interfaces which is like enumeration iterator or list iterator so i hope you guys have understood this concept very clearly it is very important to understand how this interface works and how we are actually going through the iteration of all the elements inside the framework collection framework using this iter um, interfaces so i would like uh, strongly recommend you guys to write this program and see how it actually works and if you guys have any question please post your comments in the comment section i will be more than happy to assist thanks for watching guys bye bye I hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and I will be more than happy to assist. Keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching I will see you in the next interesting video guys.